everyone, here's a walkthrough on how I finish my Christmas pieces. I know some of you would have asked. Um, I don't tend to put the total effect on the background because then when you add your subjects into the scene, it's very hard for you to match it. It's much easier if you put all of your um, finishes over the top. So I thought I'd show you how I do mine in case you like what I do. Um, but it leaves you with some creative license to make the art piece your own. So I went from this to this, which is much more stylized. Um, you might like it, you might not, <laughs> but I'll show you how to do it just in case. All right, so we're going to go back to this group and we'll turn everything off and then we'll go through it one at a time just so you can see how I built it up. Okay, um, so to start with, I decided I wanted a bit more um, depth, so I used a levels layer and I just brought down the middle slider to give a bit more, um, a bit more, um, oh, I should know the word. Anyway, I'll carry on, I'll get back to it. Then I added my subject in. Um, that took me a little while uh, to find the right perspective and everything. Uh, you're going to be best if you shoot your subject for the background in the right perspective rather than trying to find one in exactly the right position. Um, I also did a background where Santa was moved back and you could put your subject standing on the floor, which is less advanced um, to create if you want to try that one. Then I did some more colorings, just a little bit more um, warmth. Then I started a bit more D&B, dodging and burning because I wanted a more vintage look. And then I did a little bit more hand dodging and burning on the um, on a stamp visible layer. You can see I just brought up some of the areas where the light is. Um, I'm not sure what that one did. It's probably a nothing. Then I darkened down some of the areas I wanted darker and some I wanted lighter with a levels layer. Contrast was the word I was looking for. So again, I brought the middle slider down here to create more contrast. Then I inverted the layer. You can see it's all black. And then I used a brush, it looks like at 20, 30% to add more contrast into the scene to create more atmosphere. Then I did a curves layer, which just brought out some of the highlights a bit more and a bit more contrast. Then I did another levels layer, Ooh, darkened it again. <laughs> then I did a stamp visible layer and I took it into Topaz Adjust, which is a plugin. You can get a trial if you want to try it. And I wanted a more detailed look. I also have um, tutorials in my group um, which show you how to do the detailed look without Topaz Adjust. But for me, I have it, I bought it, and it's just easier to use it. So here you can see that. Let's see bit larger so you can see it. So the before and the after. I actually like both. But for this one I went with it added in. And then I wanted to make sure all my colors were harmonious. So I did a stamp visible layer and then an average blur. And I have this turned down to 49%. So before and the after. Adds a bit more richness and it brought out those details so I liked it. Then I added a levels layer and I actually darkened the outside and brightened the middle just a little bit to bring the focus more onto the subjects. Then I did my sharpening and finishing. And there you go. We went from that <laughs> to that. And hopefully everything is brought together by doing the finishing and the colouring over the top. I hope that's helpful.